But first of all, it must be mentioned that a non-monetary basic income is immediately realizable, while each person starts in his or her surroundings, in his or her family, at his or her job, and in his or her neighborhood to care for more humanity, more patience, more comprehension, and more respect of dissidents. We should say thanks more often, we should offer help and should understand the situation of others. Unfortunately, we expect compensations too often for what we do for others, because we need to live on something in a manufacturing society, which is organized by money. But let's have a look how such a monetary income could be funded for all. Since 1976, the Alaska Permanent Fund is an existing example for a national dividend. The APF is an efficiently furnished fund, which administers the profit from the local oil production of Alaska. Each citizen receives a dividend once per year, even if it is not enough for living. There is a proposal to introduce such a fund for Iraq, too. Let's hear what Jay Hammond is telling about this suggestion. Maybe they ought to consider introducing a permanent fund dividend concept in Iraq, which would, as in Alaska, give the people a degree of ownership of that vast oil wealth and a piece of the action in the form of a, a direct monetary dividend that would be equitably dispersed among their citizenry. My view was that what could do more to create a democratic capitalistic mindset among those folk than giving them a sense of ownership in that vast resource wealth, which in the past has accrued benefits only to the hierarchy while the little guy saw virtually nothing accruing to him. A situation similar to what we experienced in many Alaskan communities, fishing communities particularly, that prompted me years ago to propose such a program here in Alaska, and which ultimately evolved into what is known as the Alaska Permanent Fund Dividend Program, which grants every Alaskan a piece of the action when it comes to the dispersal of the earnings of a small portion of our oil wealth. Not one oil wealth dollar goes directly out in dividends, but simply the earnings. And it is involved to the point where every Alaskan now has a sense of ownership, receives a direct discernible equity, equitably distributed dividend, and it's become perhaps the most popular program in the state. Other countries with resources sold by the state could introduce a similar system. Namibia, where a basic income grant project was tested, could fund their basic income from the sale of diamonds. In Mongolia, they want to introduce such a system too. Mongolia is rich in mineral resources. But every country, even without resources, can fund the basic income, for example by companies owned by the state, like for power generation. The profit of such companies would be shared to the population, which plays the role of a shareholder. Basic income for all can also be financed by renting land. Another idea is taxation. In that case, it must just be defined what should be taxed. For example, all kinds of income, the consumption, the production, or even the environment pollution, as it is proposed by cap and trade. There is a special proposal which is discussed in combination with the current crisis – taxes on financial transactions, known as Tobin tax. Regardless how a basic income is funded, there are ways to receive the necessary money. From an economical point, basic income is possible if it is wanted. Apart from the will, the main question is, are we ready and do we have the possibility to realize the necessity to work, to choose, to decide and to live?